What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great hump day, and it is time for the Shady Throws Shady Report as we talk about the NFL power rankings it is hump day and we are over the hump and um let me uh let you guys know a, a quick pro, pro programming note um i will post in the community tab a link in there excuse me or, or, or start getting stuff together for our washington commanders game that will be the 8th of january um to end the season we're going to be tailgating and doing the game there um, we're going to be in section 325. The tickets, you're buying them directly from the commanders at 199 And basically, uh, I'll have a phone number in there. Just text them your email address. He'll send you the information that you need and stuff on there uh, so you can get the tickets done directly to you. When I get finished with this, I'll go ahead and put the post on there and as well as my email address to go ahead and contact me for any questions and stuff so we figure out exactly where everything is going to be and stuff on it. Um, so let's get to it. The Dallas Cowboys, amazing thing, amazing thing for the Cowboys is I know we didn't get Odell Beckham Jr., but we have Tyron Smith for the first day practicing and getting back on the field. It's kind of interesting seeing him and Jason Peters between the two of them. There's 17 Pro Bowls. That is going to be a major boost to this offense. Now, I want you to understand something. As much crap as we get told that, you know, Dak Prescott's a bus driver and that the Dallas Cowboys, you know, whatever. Since Dak Prescott has gotten back all six games, the Dallas Cowboys have been scoring 37.2 points a game, which is first in the NFL, by a whole touchdown. They are second in the league in yardage, 411. On third downs, they're 57% on first down. And that's before you put Tyron Smith back in the lineup. And now we also get James Washington as well. And you're seeing the evolution of um, CeeDee Lamb becoming a true number one. And you're seeing Michael Gallup get the rust off of him. So there, there's great things that are happening. And you look at this and say the Cowboys have some winnable games in front of them before they take on the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's go to the power rankings and the shady report. To everyone's surprise, they are ranked number two behind only the Philadelphia Eagles. Shortly thereafter, the Minnesota Vikings, Cincinnati Bengals, Bills, and the Chiefs sitting there at six. Now, you can find Dave Hellman's power rankings on Fox Sports. But, Dave, we got you here on the desk. I don't got to go online to find your power rankings. Explain yourself. <laughs> Cowboys at two. Make it make sense. I'm, who? Okay, oh, I'll give you Philly. Philly's ranked one, yes, so sir. don't come at me like that. But, like, who is playing better ball more consistently than the Cowboys over the last five or six weeks? I got Minnesota behind it. They just gave Minnesota the work. Yes, since he beat Kansas City, it was a nice win. But when I'm weighing two complete teams that are both playing well, Dallas beat Cincy earlier this year. Dallas didn't even have their quarterback when they did it. The Bills have been up and down recently. I think the world of the Chiefs, but considering how well all those teams above them are playing, they've got to fall somewhere. And the same thing goes for the Dolphins. I don't think the Dolphins are that bad, but you lose decisively mm. – on the road, and all these other teams are winning games. Like, where do they go? So I don't even really think it's that controversial. Who's playing better ball more consistently than Philly and Dallas right now? Let me have it. Come on, Shady. <laughs> as I look at as I look at your list here, <laughs> so you got one thing right. Eagles number one. Yes, sir. That was obvious. Okay, but Dallas too. So uh, the Chiefs, Dallas. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. The Chiefs are six. The Chiefs just lost the game. What that, what that mean? Okay, let's go. The Niners. The Niners. Yeah. Or Dallas. I will say. The Niners or Dallas. I felt bad about not moving the Niners up, and the reason I didn't is because they lost Jimmy Garoppolo in that game. Yo, 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 yo. We, we can't do all that. We can't, yeah, yeah, we, we that, can't play doctor and all that. Yeah, we Listen, can. We, gotta go, we can't we gotta, play. Can't, they don't have their starting We can't quarterback. play doctor and all that type of stuff. We can't do that with the kids, not with the grown-ups. There's no way that you can have them 
in front of the Niners. Niners play, they shut teams out in the second half. That's a good point. They Niners just, lost. Yo, the Cowboys beat a, a bad team with the coach. Coach was just coaching with us. He coached with them. You can't use them. You got to the, – the, 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 they beat the Dolphins. They, they beat the Dolphins, and they're top ten on your list. How are they not number three? <laughs> How are they not number two? I mean, the Cowboys just beat down the number three team on my list, like, what, three weeks ago? Listen, li they beat listen. The, they beat the number nine it, team on my list. How long are you going to be doing these lists? All through the season. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Joy, Wayne, Joy Wayne, do you have an issue with the Cowboys being number two? Uh, I know Cowboys fans are very mad at me right now. <laughs> um, I, I don't care. But, Shady, I got I to gotta, I gotta agree with Dave. I got to agree with Dave. Over Although the Niners? Dave, Over the Niners? Although, well, they don't, they're don't. they not the same team that they went into that game. Like, they do have a seventh they round lost rookie quarterback. They lost their starting right quarterback. Now. So I got to wait and see. And I know Niners fans are mad about that, too. Apparently, it's a hot take. I want to see another game with a seventh round rookie. But whatever. I, I, I mean, Dallas put up 54 points. Like, that's, that's impressive. Now, it's not as impressive to me as the Eagles win. Which is why I'm glad you didn't do anything crazy. I'm not insane, you know. Okay. Like there's logic here. But they no, don't. like the, the, I, I, that's that's the right place for the Cowboys this week. This week. That's, that's, that's why it's a the, weekly how ranking. How the rankings work? It's a weekly ranking. Our weekly ranking. This isn't this isn't necessarily who you think is the best team. No. You would still it's, pick the Chiefs over the Cowboys. If the Cowboys and Chiefs played on a neutral field, I would pick the Chiefs. But this is. Wait, I, wait, 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 wait. Huh? So if they played in Dallas, you would pick. The Cowboys. I would think about it hard. Man, no, no, no. <laughs> right. This guy's no, crazy, no, man. No, right. Can I finish? Can no. I finish? All season long. <laughs> I said I would. Been, you've been on my side. I'm like, I'm free. I'm sober. Um, you know, I'm on. I'm on the wagon or off the wagon. I don't know how it works, but. I haven't had one sip of Cowboys juice all season long, it's and all you've up been here, secretly ripping no. it into your I said cup. Uh, I would think about it hard, but I would pick the Chiefs, even if they were playing at AT&T Stadium. But they're not in front of them in the power ranking. I'm Dallas. Let's, let's hone in on this conversation. Okay. <laughs> Mind you, now, if we go to uh, ESPN's power rankings, they have the Eagles first, Kansas City second, Buffalo third, Cowboys fourth, and uh, Minnesota five, Dolphins six, and San Francisco at eight. If we go to NFL.com, they have the Eagles, then the Cowboys, and the Bengals, the Bills, the Chiefs, Vikings, and then San Francisco. So apparently Shady McCoy throwing shade at the Cowboys, as always, is um, the only one that's saying that San Francisco – right now is better than Dallas. Let me also do one more here because I always like Rich Eisen. Um, Rich Eisen is, is, is more, more balanced than most people. He does a top 10. All right, they're all over the map. I mean, honestly, you um, try and figure out what order a top 10 in the NFL right now after last week. It is definitely all over the map and the way i view things is in the now who's better now that's the ranking and the power is who can go further the longest okay that's the way i'm looking at it number <laughs> 10 on the list and I, I i'm putting them here because of their record which i know you appreciate but their record is here and they keep on winning games and they're still in the mix i was not impressed with their win at all and i'm concerned about the way that they're playing, but the Ravens are back on the list at 10. They're my mm -hmm. 10th ranked team right Lamar now. Lamar Jackson out for a couple Snoop weeks. Huntley for a while. They're eight and four, and they're sitting atop the AFC North right but now. But if you're concerned about the future, which looks like it won't have Lamar Jackson, then they should for, the, for one or three weeks. On, for one or three weeks, they shouldn't be on the list. Well, I'm not. I'm, I wasn't putting like the Washington Commanders above them. I think they beat the. Commanders. What do you mean? They're playing better than the Ravens right Number now. Number nine on this list is a team that lost and they're up one spot. I loved my New York Jets. I think the Jets are a top ten team they in the NFL right now. They lost and moved up. They did. <laughs> they, did. they moved up a spot. I knew you're going to hate this, and you're you're heckling me in real time. And sir, I will have you thrown out of the club shortly <laughs> tip your waitress the number nine on this list i think they're one of the top defensive teams in the league and had mike white actually gotten in from the one yard line they're number nine on this list they moved up one spot number eight they've moved down two spots did they win last week they did not okay the miami dolphins are number eight on this All list right. and the jets have beaten the dolphins and the dolphins are above them okay 
But I still put the Dolphins on this list. I still think they're a top 10 team. I know Tua didn't have a terrific game, but two two throws put points on the board. They're so quick strike, and that's against the best defense in the league. I like the Dolphins at number eight on my list. No change. The Vikings took care of business against the Jets. I'm still just not impressed. I'm I mean, not. What more do they have to do? Uh, they have 10 wins. I know. I, I still think that they... My Jets should have gotten them. I just couldn't put them any higher on this list. Certainly since the Cincinnati Bengals sit on six on this list. They moved up two spots. I love this team. God, do I love Joe Burrow and the way they are playing. And they're just going to keep improving and keep on coming for you. And when you think that they're not just as good as last year, they're going to keep showing you they are. They're number six on this list. Moved up two spots. Number five, down three spots. I know they won. (laughs) I know they won. Here we go. And they're down three spots. I'm really concerned about Brock Purdy leading this team where they need to be, but they're still so damn good. Okay. I've got to have them in my top five. I got to have them in my That's top fair. five. That's and I fair. know it was a first blush thrown in the game, and he performed very well against the Miami Dolphins. But this is a lead pipe wielding defense coming at them by a lead pipe wielding coordinator and coach and Todd Bowles. I, I need to see what Purdy looks like right now. I can't. I, I love this team, and I, I, I chose them to go to the Super Bowl, but that was with Jimmy G. I need to reserve spots in the top three or four for a team that I that's not quarterbacked by the, the, the last chosen yeah. draft pick. I actually think that's pretty reasonable. Number four, the Cowboys, no change. They're still sitting there, number four still on four. this list. I, uh, I'm keeping them number four. I mean, uh, look, it was 21-19 going into the fourth quarter, and the roof caved in. You know, they were having trouble at home on Sunday night football against the Colts for three quarters. I can't move them up the list. Despite the roof came in because I, we we put pressure and on the I roof still and think, made I still think oh, number man. three on this list, I still think the Buffalo Bills are better than the Cowboys. I have took them up two spots oh. from five to three. I've got them number three on this list. And then number two on this list, down one spot. I knocked them out of the first place. The Kansas City Chiefs are number two on this list. I still love them. I don't think they lose the rest of the season. I think that was their last loss of the season, quite frankly. And then number one is the Philadelphia Eagles first. All right, so we'll leave it right there. So, um, Shady McCoy's whole premise that the 49ers should be above the Cowboys. Nobody else agrees with Shady on that one. So, it is what it is. So, anyway, I hope everybody has a great great hump day and uh we'll check back tomorrow and see what stupid things that shady mccoy says today i'm mark holmes and i appreciate you peace